All right, good morning, Screwball. Here it is March 19th, Thursday, 9.30 a.m. You can see uh, Oso and Nancy back there behind us. Uh, turn around here, you see, let's get it somewhere. There's, there, I don't know, couldn't get him. The camper's in front of me. Um, and also the uh, uh, <clears throat> wander out there. Turn around here, camper, and just say cheese. That's camper right there. So we, they've caught up with me. We're headed up over Big Ball, going to Spivey Gap today. It's a 13 mile hike. So um, y'all hang with us. Everybody's picking on me because I'm the only one that's smart enough to go light. Uh, smart or? Lazy, whatever y'all uh, say. But light's light, you, you know. know. Maybe so, all right, we're on. Challenges. Hey, you know, this came with my pack, so I consider it an attachment to my pack, so we're all good. We'll see you over the mountain. If I get anything good, I'll get back to you. All right, we're easing on up the mountain, but you can see it's a pretty day today. Uh, chit chat, dinner bell, or wonder out there on is their channel if y'all want to check them out. But I'm gonna give you 10 seconds of nature here if they'll keep. There's a chipmunk just under that tree. Birds have been chirping. All right, there's your 10 seconds of the nature. Let's move on down trail now. If the day stays like it is, it's gonna be a beautiful day. We've come 1.8 miles. Uh, camper and Oso behind me. Uh, Dinnabelle and Chit Tat are up ahead. We've got a group of day hikers. There was probably 20 day hikers left out this morning before us. Uh, this is what they call Little Bald. If you look, look up on top of that hill over here, let me get this out of the way. That is big ball. That's where we're headed today. That's the halfway point. So once I get up there, then uh, I'll be halfway to where I'm going today. But this is what they call a little ball. Let's walk on up here. I may have to edit some of this to get it out. All right. You can see the trail going on straight ahead. Here's a couple of day hikers in front of us. You can see the timber line over on the other ridge road down there. Couldn't tell you the name of that little road. If you look way back in that gap, you can see the mountains. You can see mountains all behind, in every one of these little gaps. If you look, they're not clouds there, they're mountains. And then you can see the clouds in the valley below us there. But this is a little bald. Let me move on. There's Camper and Oso. Back on the beginning of the ball, they just walked out, taking some pictures, and they're coming on. And they're chit chatting again, so I should have called them chit chatters instead of chit chat. But uh, there they are behind me, which now I'm slack packing, and they are carrying their whole pack with just two days worth of food. But still, all right, let me get, give me some water. This is the first rock out problem as we came over to the little ball. Uh, a lot of moss in this area. Birds are still chirping, still a pretty day. Got camper in front of me up there. Uh, the trail, you know, the trail has been like this since pretty much we got in the smoky as far as just a smooth walking little trail, not having to climb over rocks and stuff. Every now and then you hit a spot uh, with stuff on it. But all right, let me move on. 11 o'clock. Um, been here about 30 minutes. Walked up on True Trail Magic. You've got Nana here. Then you got Talks a Lot. I mean, a chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner bell. Camper to Oso. And I'm going to let these ladies and gentlemen introduce themselves here doing the trail magic. And I'm Renee. And I'm David. And they've been doing this for, Dave said, four years that he's been doing this. And he got lucky a couple of months ago and, and married this lovely lady. Um, 
so we you know we appreciate y'all doing the trail magic and uh everybody here does so uh i just gonna put them on here and uh if y'all see them tell them thanks all right i just accidentally butt dialed or facetime my buddy steven Graham from new york well Graham, this is what i was looking at when i was talking to you you can see the road down there i'm on this little old skinny ridge it was good talking to you. Glad about it, don't you? We'll talk at y'all later. Old things in a while, a couple of days. Just you know, I've been on a big ridge like this, just hardwood timber and stuff. But this right here, which I've been following fence line quite a bit. This is a fence post here. There's three fence posts up through there. I don't know if you can see them. You know, but you wonder what the fence was. Was it a property line fence? Was it a animal containment fence? You know or what but you can still see the post going up through there and when that when were they put in so that's my little things moment of the day and i'm just you know curious of what what that was actually used for all right this woodpecker was chasing the bug for sure that's about six inches deep right there yeah maybe four but it's as wide as my hand and as deep as my second knuckles. But he definitely was chasing the, his favorite meal, evidently. All right, let me get on. Consistency is in these rocks. It's been all the way from Georgia to here. Is this marble or whatever uh, that's in these rock layers? We went from a granite to somewhat of a slate, but it's all I've had that white chert or marble. And check that rock right there out. So that's one of the consistencies I've seen as far as along the trail. Just thought I'd throw that in there. All right, I'm probably getting too much time on the camera here, but here's a nice little outcropping. I said chert, I meant to say quartz. All right, that's big bald. It is 1244. Let's see how long it takes me to get there. Shouldn't be, but about 30 minutes. If this runs this little ridge out and goes straight to it. Y'all can see it's a big, beautiful valley down through there. All right, 1244, I'm heading that way. Here we go. Hey, right. it's hollow tree time. Hey, let's see what's down in there. Let's see what's up in there. All right. That's the hollow tree time for today. All right, it's 1026, big bald elevation, 5,516 feet. Uh, so it's, uh, took me, I stopped and talked for about five, 10 minutes with a group of day hikers and family hikers. And then I stopped for about five minutes got some water so yeah it took me about 30 minutes i'm not sure which ridge i was on i'm pretty sure it was uh out there it took me about three or four minutes once i actually got involved to get to the top so there's uh, about four of my college age girls up here a lot of, been quite a few day hikers come and going um slow this down get here pan around where you can see it good. Uh, if you look back over to this side, see a bunch of houses and stuff.
trail goes over that part of the bald. So I imagine I'm headed somewhere behind these mountains down into Spivey Gap. Camper in Oso and uh, Chit Chat and Dinner Bell are probably about 30 minutes behind me. They stayed at the uh, Trail Magic for a little while after I left, plus I'm um, slack packing, they're carrying their full load. But let me get back on the road, head over that hill right there, and I'll talk with y'all later. That's the top of Big Bald. Uh, I don't see anybody over there right now, but there were some people on top I thought may have been Capranoso. So, you still see the mountains. I'm about to hit the wood line and it may be some more bald on the other side of this wood line. Let me get moving again. Somebody had them a little fireplace built right here with the rocks. I don't know that I've ever seen it on camera before. The trail's right there, that, that, that signpost right behind that tree. Just thought I'd walk around here and see what was back here. A nice little rock where you build a fire and get it thrown back out to you. But there's the trail on down through there. About got a dead battery. I didn't even look so what time it was. I just wanted you to see this view. And if you look, there's the edge. But yep, that's the edge there. Just a sheer drop off for a ways. Let me, if I can get you out there and see it. I can't see my camera, so I can't really tell if it, it's it. But got about five more miles to go. Man, what a view. What a view. Nice little wide spot in the road out yonder. Don't know if that's Irwin, Tennessee or what it is. Now, let me get, I got about 25% battery life. I need to get on out here and get it on charge. Got a nice little overhang right up in there. Push coming to shove. I reckon you can get up in there and lay down, get out of a major storm or something. We use them down the street. All right, my phone's about to die. I may not even get this recorded. You see the big rocks up here in front of me. And then these right here. So I'm gonna shut this off and get up there a little closer. See what we got. All right, there's a blue blaze going up to the top. I would love to do it. I'm about out of battery, so I'm just gonna go on, try to get down to not. She's down waiting on me in the car. But I'm gonna film this the best I can until the phone goes dead, dead or until I get through it. <laughs> but I promise you, me and not or Miss Nancy, We'll be back to hike this section of the trail one day. Oh, check this out. That's a cave, but I'm not gonna be able to work my way around to it. I don't believe. No, have to go through there to get to it. All right, I know you're not able to. That's a good 30, 40 feet above my head. All right, I'm gonna cut it off and there might be something right around here.
see it come up to the end of it and there's my trail going down a heck of a drop off a heck of a view but like i said i'm down into the teen percentage of my battery so let me see I'm going to curve back to my left right here and then i'm gonna cut this thing off cut the phone off see what i got in case i need it beautiful but i'm down here from here so i'm gonna cut this thing off uh sorry i running out of battery not getting all these great shots but uh when i get down to the car get it plugged in i'll do a wrap up go on. i am 0.6 miles out so i gotta follow this hollow one down <clears throat> excuse me 0.6 miles uh, been coming down for the last mile down this zigzagging down this hollow here <clears throat> big hardwood timber hollow somebody down in there hoop hooping i don't know who that is but uh that's the way i'm headed oh i see miss nancy down there waving her arms hey babe and down there waving her arms at me so must mean i'm a little bit closer so that brightens my day quite a bit. So let me get on down there and uh, catch up with her. But look at this little bridge right here. We're going across. There's quite a few of these half cut logs that they've made bridges out of. <clears throat> and then you gotta step in the wet spot <clears throat> to get back to the next bridge. But the wet spots got gravel where these are just mushy spots. So all right, heading on down. <clears throat> 